Hi guys, it's Cam. Welcome back to another video. I don't know how exciting this video will be. I'm like, you know what? If this can help one person learn how to minimally pack or help a future flight attendant or whatnot, then that's great. So today I wanted to show you how I pack as a flight attendant. I usually have three bags with me. I usually bring all three, which I know is a little bit excessive, whether I'm on a one night or a three night trip because our maximum trip length is four days, which is a lot, you know, four days of uniforms flying, you gotta bring clothes, you could be in Anchorage, Alaska, and then have another layover in Phoenix. So you have to be ready for all types of weather. It really depends on the trip. This is usually how I pack for a normal trip, let's say like a three day to New York or a multi-leg day to Bend. I usually bring this, just depending on weather, that could change things, but I wanted to show you my carry-on bag. Not carry-on bag, but my um, personal bag specifically because this thing, I have everything in it. Well, my uniforms are in my other bag, so that would be really bad to lose, but this has like my whole life in it. I used to have another bag that was assigned to us by the airline, but the spacing in it just didn't work for me. So I invested in the Bay bag. I think it's Bay, B-E-I-S, it's Shea Mitchell's brand. I've always seen ads for it, but I love it because it opens up. You have access to everything, and then there's an under compartment. So if you're on a one day, I might be able to just pack this for like a one-nighter, but this is a really good turn bag because being a flight attendant things can always change and it's always good to have an extra set of clothes anything could happen in this job so it's always good to have a spare set of clothes let's try to adjust you here to where i can show you everything in here currently sitting on my floor of my loft right now so this is the mini weekender bag i just got it in black because we have to have black or navy blue bags for my airline i'm obsessed with this bag it has the part that attaches like to the back of your suitcase i actually don't use that i hang it from the front. If you've seen any flight attendants walking through the airport, it's like a balance game where you have your roller and then a bag and then I usually put my cooler bag on top. It's a whole thing but I promise it works and somehow the physics of it make everything feel light. But let's get into her. So the first thing I have in this little side compartment, it's like a where you put a laptop, is all of my entertainment things. So I'm currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses this series. I'm on the last book, A Court of Silver Flames. This book has been amazing. This series, Sarah J Moss, I love her. It's always good to have a book in in case you're sitting on the jump seat not doing anything so great to have a really good book that's just captivating and entertaining I just purchased a Kindle so it'll be so nice to go from books you know this is a pretty big one but carrying this to just carrying this I don't know how I will like it but I think it'll be great just for when I'm traveling and on the job because it's just so easy and you know you can read in the dark it'll be so much easier just to hold this little guy so always have a book with me next thing is my iPad I rarely travel with my computer. This is great to have if you're just in the hotel and you want to watch a movie or a show, if you want to doodle or play a game. I always usually have my iPad with me unless I know I'm going to be like really busy on my layover. I'll usually bring that. I have my noise canceling headphones. This is probably the best investment I've ever made as someone who travels often. I love these headphones. The green color is just so cute and they work so well and they are just the best thing ever. And I like how there is a noise canceling mode or there's a transparency mode so you can have them on but still hear your surroundings. You're not having to like take them on and off. They're the best thing ever. I love that. And then I just have <laughs> my reading light, which this will change once I start using my Kindle. But when you work red eyes, the plane is dark and so you can't read. And so this is a really great thing to have. And I also just have my in-ear air pods because sometimes you don't want the over the ear yeah that's it for that laptop storage and then on the other side I just have important things like my badge we have to have our badge at all times have the key the Bowen key to the emergency medical equipment and I have an air tag on here as well just in case I ever lose it because that's how important it is and then I have miscellaneous stuff in here like pens I have my wings I have two sets of these always very paranoid about losing them but have that and then I also have an air tag in here because I need one in my bag as well and this is like my important bag got some sunglasses so that's that and then there's two little storage compartments in front of that one 
I just have all of my vitamins, medication in one side, and then I have lip gloss and lip products in the other. You always gotta have that. You never know when there's gonna be a cute boy on the flight. That's all I'm saying. And another thing I love about this bag is that there is a key link, so I always have my keys on there. And then the last two things in this compartment, I have it pretty organized. So this is my emergency bag. I like to separate the two of them. I've got, let's call her refresh bag, and then my emergency bag. So in this guy, I think like any traveler, this is a good thing to have on you. Wet wipes, the little toothbrush freshener thing, face mask in case it's really needed, nail filer, Advil, a lint roller, some gummy melatonin, very needed, feminine products, deodorant, what else do I have in here? Saline nasal spray because it gets real dry on the planes, you know. Ponytails, band-aids, cold relief tablets. These actually work super well. I just got these from CVS and I love those. Hand sanitizer, fiber packets. This is just like the emergency things. I actually use pretty much everything in that bag because you just never know if you're gonna have a headache, need a little fiber, you know, we're getting TMI here, but that is my necessities bag. There's probably more that I could add to it, but she works. And then I have my refresh bag. This is my Aloha of Aloha bags. They're waterproof, they're amazing. So this is like the bag that I take, probably like an hour left of the flight. Just wanna refresh because we're on the job, but sometimes, you know, my face gets super dry or I just need to like touch up a little bit because usually I'm ready to go to bed after the last leg of the day but this just helps me feel a little bit more awake because you have to say goodbye to all the passengers as they're leaving and then walk through the airport and everything so I've got hand lotion hand sanitizer hide to go stick dry shampoo the best thing to have to just give your hair a little refresh I have face wipes I never really take all my makeup off but that's good like if you're in the van and you just really need to take it off face mist oh my god the best thing ever I actually like the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty one the best, but I like that this one has aloe in it and just makes me feel completely refreshed. I have a CeraVe lotion, powder. Usually what I do is spritz and then do a little powder and that just makes me feel great. This is a lanolin face base. This is if my face is really, really dry or I have a dry spot. A little Tarte concealer and then just a ton of lip products because honestly you can never have enough. I have a little cuticle clipper thing. This is the best. You just never know when you're going to have like a hangnail that you need to get. That's that. It's just good to have, you know, emergency kit and then a refresh kit. Even if I'm flying like as a guest, I like to refresh, you know, after a long flight. It just makes me feel better as I'm deplaning because sometimes I just feel real gross <laughs> but yeah that is all in that bag except for the bottom compartment i actually have a whole outfit in here usually i just keep like a pair of sweatpants and stuff but in here i actually have sneakers and a whole outfit because i didn't know if i was going to meet friends after my shift yesterday but i've got a pair of pants and a shirt and i just like this under compartment because it's like you never know if you're gonna need a spare outfit it's also not in the direct like main compartment so she's just there if needed <laughs> This one's gonna be a lot quicker because you know I don't have that much in here right now usually half of this bag honestly my roller bag is my toiletries but let's get into her real quick so I don't really keep anything on the outside compartment usually I'll just have a spare set of tights because you never know if you're gonna have like a gnarly run in them or something so always good to have that and then I think I have free wear fabric refresher because you know if you wear your uniform a couple times on a trip sometimes they just need a little refresh in here I just keep a spare bag. Right now I have a shoulder bag, but usually it's my bagu because she folds up real small. And I keep my belts in there. And then into the bag, she's not that big, I swear. Not much stuff fits in here. I always have an extra sweater in case I get called on like a extended trip or like another trip after I get back from one. And I could rewear the pants or the skirt and have just like a different top. This is our work shirt. Always have a couple extra uniforms in there. If it's a four day, usually I'll have few different uniforms it really just depends on the trip but as I'm on call right now they can always extend my trips longer so I always have a couple backups like at least a couple extra t-shirts maybe a pair of extra pants I have those in there I wear the same shoes usually with all my outfits so I normally only have to have one pair of work shoes but sometimes I'll bring a pair of heels if I'm feeling fancy so <laughs> this is my clothes bag I'm always changing things out in here but right now so I was on airport standby yesterday so pretty much 
they could have called me anywhere directly from the airport. So I just brought the basic necessities I could wear in any city and be comfortable. <laughs> so a pair of sweatpants, bring a pair of biker shorts, an oversized t-shirt, underwear, socks, a workout bra, a regular bra. I probably, oh, I did have this shirt that I'm wearing right now in here as well to like wear for like a <laughs> outfit in public. But yeah, I always have that in here. You never know, but when you have a line when you're not on call you know exactly where you're going and you can plan for your trips then you know for Hawaii I'll bring all of my outfits a swimsuit yada yada I'm going somewhere cold I'll bring my puffer jacket and jeans and like a long sleeve t-shirt so yeah I like to be ready for anything because <laughs> like last time I was in Boston now and all I had was shorts usually I try to be a little bit more prepared than that and check the weather but sometimes you have no idea where you're going so you just have to be ready for anything but yeah yeah, besides those two bags, I usually just have my cooler. It's just filled with food and ice and snacks because I try not to eat out, but also like if I'm in a city where I know there's good food like Boston or New York, I'll just pack snacks and then eat a meal when I'm there. I don't know if this video will be helpful to anyone, but just wanted to show you how I pack, what I keep, and how I'm always ready to go anywhere at any time pretty much with what's packed in these bags besides outfits you know I try to always have like a swimsuit and a jacket because you never know where you're gonna go when you're on call other times you're just gonna slam click which is the flight attendant term for just staying in the hotel which happens sometimes you just have to relax so all you really need to bring is a book a show and a comfy outfit because every layover is different sometimes you have the energy to go out sometimes you don't better to be prepared but also you're not gonna like go out a cute outfit at every stop so you just have to have the bare necessities <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful and i just wanted to show you how i pack as a flight attendant because my life is on the go and i do live out of these bags out of these suitcases literally you know i have clothes and stuff here in my home but what i live out of is these bags so <laughs> hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching let me know if there's any other flight attendant content you want to see besides my layover diaries but yeah love you guys See you soon. Bye.